right, I'm going to show you how to copy a site onto a dev subdomain with cPanel and my name's Rob from robcubbon.com. So here is the site and let's go into the cPanel. So here is the cPanel. First of all we want to create the dev subdomain for the site so we go into domains subdomains then we're going to put in dev and all the files are going to be stored in public HTML forward slash dev. So we'll create that. And that's now been created. So we can either go back here or click home to go back to the cPanel. And just to test that subdomain, see if it's working, I've got a little test index.html which has hello message in it. I'm going to upload that to the subdomain. And remember, we said we'd put it in public HTML followed by dev. So I'm going to put that file in there. There it goes. And so now if we look at that dev site, there's the hello message. So we know it's working. So there's two things we need to copy on a WordPress site. One is the files and the second is the database. So let's do the files first. And to copy the files, we'll go into File Manager and cPanel. And we're in public HTML. What we want to do is copy all these files and put them in the dev folder. I'm just going to select them all there. And bear in mind, this is even copying the .ht access, which is very important. And I'm just going to deselect the dev folder. We don't want that to confuse things. Now we're going to right click and copy and we want them all in the dev folder so they're copying and as you can see that's beginning to happen that will take a while of course but in the meantime we can do the database so back into the cPanel home look for PHP my admin and here we are I need to select the WordPress database that I know we're using export that and we'll go for the quick export so that's exported and the SQL file is about 17 meg. This might not work if it's a lot bigger, like over 50 meg, but we'll see. So what we need to do is create a new table on PHP MyAdmin and upload the table we just downloaded onto it, creating a copy. Let's go back onto MySQL database and let's create a new database. Call it WordPress copy. So we've created that database. And next, what we have to do is go back into MySQL databases and add the user to the database. So we need to choose the user that's in the WP config file and the new database and add and click all privileges. So that's done. Now we want to go back into PHP at my admin. There it is, and it's empty. All we've got to do is import and click go. So that's going to take a while as well. And bear in mind, we have copied the name of this database because we'll need to put that into the WP config file later on. OK, so there's two things you need to do to the WP config PHP. First one is to change the database name to the new one you created, the copy one. No need to change the user and the password because we've connected the new database to the user we're already using. And the second thing you need to do is put these two lines in and that defines the home page which changes it on the database as well as on the WordPress settings and this will make sure it all works. And now what we need to do is see if the dev site works. There it is, and it looks exactly the same as the main site. If you hover over these latest posts here, you'll see that their link is the subdomain as well. And if you click one of those there, it will take you to the blog post in the subdomain. So now you have an exact copy of your old site to work on. And one last thing I'm going to do is to go to the back end of the dev site by going WP admin and you then need to log in with the same username and password that you use on the main site and the first thing I'm going to do is load a plugin called under construction activate that plugin and then under settings under construction I'm going to activate it so it works properly and what this does if you log out and go back to the dev site and refresh 
that means it's invisible to everyone else. It's only visible if you're logged in the back of WordPress. That avoids duplicate content issues. It also avoids anyone seeing your dev site before it's beautiful and finished. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. This has been Rob from robcubbon.com. Goodbye.